guessed it, we are in Rome, visiting the Colosseum, exploring the Palatine Gardens, but beyond that, Rome is an overwhelming panic attack of a city. It feels like the Port Authority of Italy. It turns out, our train back home is in like another county. We've been walking to the train station for like 15 minutes. <laughs> Take the train back to our villa in Arezzo, then Wednesday, scoot on over to the quintessential Tuscan town of Siena, home of the most epic Duomo I've seen so far, an ungodly amount of gelato, and stairs. Lots of stairs. I passed over when this kicked in. Yeah. Just had a Woo. Worth it. We head back to Arezzo and end up in a place I never thought I'd be on this trip. Julia, where are we? Cinemas. All right, vlog. You ready for Aladdin? <laughs> Very exciting. In Italiano? Come si dice? All by ourselves. Later. Okay, so this is something that they do halfway through the movies. They have intermissions. Yeah. We're in intermission in the middle of Aladdin. Yes, it was great. The whole the world made me cry, whatever. But doesn't Disney have something better to be doing than devaluing the art of animation by repurposing classic properties as disposable live action adaptions? Please. Yeah. <laughs> Take a Tarantella lesson. Have a lovely dinner at the villa where we're serenaded by none other than Raphael. Raphael is from the foothills of Georgia and is married to Dr. Elisa Madolo, who is from Venice, Italy. Their whole love story is insane. You've got to ask him about it sometime. The exhaustion setting in. I got like a full eight hours of sleep last night and I'm still pooped. I'm gonna nap real hard on this train to Florence. I'm blown away by the sex positivity here in Italy. It's so interesting, like there's these counters at all the corner stores, there's even a vending machine that sells condoms right outside of our villa. In America, there's this huge stigma around sex, and wouldn't it be nice if we had a culture like this where there were resources to where you could engage with and explore your sexuality safely? It just makes sense. It's a public safety thing, I think. MTV Cribs. Pimp my hostel. Oof. Hey, Julia. Have you climbed enough towers recently? I don't think so. I think no? I want to climb some more. You think maybe just one more? Maybe one more. Maybe one more. Gorgeous view of Brunelleschi's dome? Check. Statue of David? Check. Custom Florentine book binding? Check. Randomly running into a friend from high school? Ciao vlog! Hey! This Ciao. is my friend Sam Wynn. She was on my um, school newspaper. Travel Tribune. I'm with the University of South Carolina. And this is our weekend trip to Florence. And this is our weekend trip to Florence. So who knows what the night has in store? I need to stop asking myself that question. <laughs> Andiamo a discotheque. I mean, we're all in a group. Hear that? Let's play it back again. That's the bouncer telling us not to lose our entry card because that's how we pay at the end of the night. And without it, you can't leave the disco. Guess who lost their entry card? Nobody needs to know how I made it out of the disco last night, okay? Julia took us to this secret apothecary and tea room that we were wildly underdressed for. Oh well. What would a trip to a major Italian city be without rubbing another bronze sculpture? <laughs>